Get ready to witness history in the making as Starship edges closer to reaching orbit. With two groundbreaking flights under its belt, the anticipation for this monumental achievement is palpable. Musk's recent announcement confirming an astonishing 80% success rate for Starship Flight 3 only adds to the excitement. But what fuels Musk's confidence? When will this historic flight take place? And what lies ahead for the Starship project if IFT-3 proves to be a resounding success. Join us as we delve into these questions and more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. As the countdown to Starship IFT-3 continues, the anticipation is reaching new heights. This flight marks the dawn of a pivotal chapter in the Starship project, promising to unlock unprecedented potential. With each Starship flight comes a unique mission, yet the ultimate objective remains unchanged, to breach the threshold of orbit. In a recent online discussion, Elon Musk shared his insights. Probability of reaching orbit is, is good, probably 80%. Musk's recent statement exudes a remarkable level of confidence, especially considering the challenges encountered during the initial Starship flights. Recall the cautious optimism surrounding the success rates of the first two flights, which Musk estimated at 50 and 60 percent, respectively. Such assessments underscored the inherent risks associated with launching new rockets like Starship, reflecting Musk's pragmatic approach. However, the revelation of an 80 percent success rate for Flight 3 signals a significant shift. While the increase may seem incremental, it instills a newfound sense of certainty and confidence. With past issues potentially resolved, the prospect of achieving orbit as early as the third flight seems increasingly within reach. Musk's recent statements regarding the success rates of Starship flights are grounded in substantial reasoning. He recently disclosed the root cause of Flight 2's failure, citing a venting procedure that inadvertently led to a catastrophic explosion due to the absence of payload. Musk emphasized that had there been a payload on board, the venting process would not have occurred, increasing the likelihood of reaching orbit. Moreover, SpaceX has diligently conducted tests and implemented upgrades to the Flight 3 prototypes, including enhancements to the heat shield system, hot staging procedures, and engine replacements aimed at bolstering reliability. These efforts combined with insights gained from previous flights flights provide a solid foundation for Musk's optimism regarding the prospects of Flight 3. Considering these factors, Musk's confidence in achieving an 80% success rate for Flight 3 appears well-founded and reflects SpaceX's commitment to continual improvement and innovation in the pursuit of space exploration. What are your thoughts on Musk's estimates? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments down below. Musk not only provided the success rate, but also offered an estimate for the Flight 3 launch date. He and other sources indicate that Starship Flight 3 is slated for launch within the next three weeks, around the second week of March. SpaceX is aiming to secure approval from the FAA by late February or early March, a timeline that aligns with the regulatory perspective of Kelvin Coleman, the FAA's Administrator for Commercial space transportation. Currently, the prototypes earmarked for Flight 3, namely the S-28 and B-10, are undergoing final preparations, including wet dress rehearsal and static fire tests with the S-28. Beyond the primary objective of achieving orbit, Flight 3 encompasses several additional goals. These include validating the Raptor engine relight capability, demonstrating the functionality of the PES door, and conducting a pivotal tip tank transfer demonstration. These milestones collectively underscore the multifaceted nature of the mission and the ambitious objectives set forth by SpaceX. Testing engine stability and reactivation capability is of paramount importance, especially in light of the challenges encountered during Flight 2. While the engines performed admirably in the initial stages of the flight, issues arose during the shutdown and separation processes, ultimately leading to the booster's explosion. As a result, SpaceX is keen on enhancing engine reliability for both stages, exemplifying by the recent engine swap involving S-28. It'll be intriguing to witness how Starship evolves following these upgrades. 
Of particular significance is the Tip Tank Transfer Mission, a long-standing request from NASA that SpaceX will undertake in Flight 3. This mission entails transferring 10 cubic meters of liquid oxygen fuel from the header tank to the main tank, serving as a demonstration of liquid fuel management in the space environment. This milestone holds profound implications for SpaceX's development of a ship-to-ship -ship refueling system, a crucial component of the Artemis mission. Undoubtedly, these tasks present formidable challenges for the SpaceX team. However, with Musk's assertion of an 80% success rate for Flight 3, there is optimism that these endeavors will yield favorable outcomes. And the success of Starship's Flight 3 will have a huge impact on the future. The immediate impact of Flight 3's success will likely be seen in the subsequent flight IFT-4. Musk recently confirmed that Flight 4 hardware is nearly ready, suggesting that preparations for the next mission are already underway. Flight 4 will likely continue the goal of reaching orbit and may include testing the refueling system, marking another significant step in the Starship program. However, Flight 4 represents just a small portion of Starship's ambitious roadmap. Recent images on X have revealed key milestones for the project, including the initial testing phase and the development of Starship version 2. Following these milestones, SpaceX plans to focus on developing and demonstrating orbital in-flight propellant transfer systems. If successful, this will pave the way for the development, production, and launch of the HLS Starship by the end of 2025. In terms of infrastructure, SpaceX is prioritizing the construction of new launch systems with plans to build a second launch tower in the coming months. Additionally, efforts are underway to complete the Star Factory production system, which will play a crucial role in manufacturing future prototypes, including the HLS Starship. Now, let's delve into the comprehensive roadmap for Starship. With over 30 months until the Artemis 3 deadline, SpaceX SpaceX is gearing up for an intense period of activity. In 2024 alone, they aim to launch five missions, spanning from Flight 3 to Flight 7, using existing prototypes. These missions will focus on critical objectives such as reaching orbit, propellant transfer, and perfecting splash landing techniques. However, this number may increase as SpaceX has recently requested approval from the FAA for at least nine Starship launches in 2024. Looking ahead to 2025, SpaceX is focused focus will shift towards landing and reusing Starship with the Mechazilla arm. They'll ramp up prototype production and initiate the development of new versions like V2 or V3. Concurrently, the production of additional vehicles such as the Starship Tanker and HLS variant will commence. These vehicles will undergo rigorous testing, including ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer tests starting as early as Flight 4, with the goal of achieving maturity by the second half of 2025. Furthermore, SpaceX has plans for an un manned lunar landing mission slated for 2025 preceding Artemis 3. This mission could serve as a crucial testbed for the capabilities of the HLS Starship before it embarks on a crewed lunar landing. These detailed plans highlight SpaceX's ambitious trajectory with Starship Flight 3 serving as the pivotal catalyst to unlock the full potential of this groundbreaking spacecraft. Looking beyond internal planning, the outcome of Starship Flight 3 will reverberate throughout the the space race not just this year, but for many to come. In the first month of 2024, ULA made its mark on the space race with the Vulcan Centaur mission, successfully launching the Astrobotic Lunar Lander. And in April, they have another significant mission on the horizon, launching the Dream Chaser space plane. These achievements position Vulcan as a formidable competitor to Starship, regardless of ULA's ownership status. Meanwhile, Blue Origin, spurred by Jeff Bezos's bold statement and recent changes in leadership is staging a strong comeback. The highly anticipated new Glenn vehicle recently made its debut, being vertically rolled out to the launch complex just days ago. Coupled with the successful debut of the BE-4 engine on the Vulcan mission, Blue Origin appears poised to launch its inaugural mission later this year, intensifying the competition with Starship. In the face of these challenges, the success of Starship Flight 3 will be monumental in solidifying SpaceX's position a successful Flight 3 would unlock the ambitious plans outlined earlier and position SpaceX to maintain its dominance in the aerospace industry. All eyes are now on the 80% success rate that Musk has announced. 
While this rate isn't absolute and risks still loom, it generates excitement and confidence. Flight 3, with an 80% success rate, is poised to launch in the coming weeks. What are your thoughts on this? Let's continue the discussion in the comments section, where I'm sure you'll be giving me your best insights. Otherwise, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.